Hello, and welcome to my uh, belated third part of my uh, Class of Illusion Sega Master System playthrough. Uh, you may notice some discrepancies in the time... Uh, well, not in the time, because it's empty. I'm an idiot. In the score and tries, because uh, I forgot to save the state after I beat the Toy Factory. So I just I did it again, rather clumsily, and just forced my way through it as quick as I could without picking up anything, really. So, if that bothers you... Um, Genuinely sorry. Anyway, this is the Chocolate Factory. As a kid, bar none, uh, the hardest of the first three. Uh, of course it would be if we're going in sequential order. Jesus, Stu. Um, but as you can see, you're being pursued by the screen. Um, scrolling, auto-scrolling. And I'd never seen this before in a game. I'd never really seen a game before. <laughs> so this was my first proper... Well, not what I'd seen Spectrum games, but this is my first exposure to this kind of platformer, I think. Apart from watching someone play Sonic once, um, the Master System one, not the Mega Drive one. Uh, this bit's torturous. It's tense. I like it. It's. Um, I mean, I'm making it hopefully look fairly easy, but I've always liked this level. I always found it rather creative. It's like collecting the, using these jam tarts as platforms and the enemy sweets that come unwrapped when you bounce them. I just think it's kind of cool. Quite a lot of oh, that was shit. Quite a lot of little. Um, interesting things here as well. Nice slope to slide down into the next area. And there's an invisible chest here. Probably got a coin in it, I can't remember. Yep. And go along here and I've never really figured out what those things are, but I assume they're some kind of nut. Like me, ha! No, no. I'm fine. Nothing wrong with me. This is a hard jump. See? You know what? In the interests of... Um, Authenticity. I'm just going to do that again. That's tragic, because I don't think I've died there. Ever. Since I was about ten. So, yeah, it just goes to show when you're actually trying to do something for an audience. A, admittedly a small audience. It will go wrong. See, look at that shit. I would never do that. You don't believe me. You think I'm crap. You're just like, yeah, listen to that tit. Try and play up to the camera that he's not crap when he's demonstrably awful at this. Another excuse is I'm using a 360 pad with an analog stick and this is a 2D game. Of course, it makes literally no difference. I like doing this. You can go up on the wall there. You can just about see Mickey's wee feet. Big cake in there. Yep. A lot of small cake, but you know, whatever. Look, it's a Christmas tree, sort of. Yeah, another reason I like this level is there's quite a lot of fairly unique enemy types and traps. Um, like, on every screen there's some some kind of variation. Uh, they're coming to the end of the level now. There's a nice little cache of secrets here. And I mean cache like C-A-C-H-E and cache as in money, because there is that. And a secret one-up. And a giant ice cream should Mickey feel the need to have some snack. God, I love this game. I like how there's these little barrels around that have an M on them, like they're just for him. Oh, here's something I like doing. Don't know why. I just think it looks pretty fun. It's a shame you can't take that to the boss, because that would be incredibly useful against the boss. Like, astonishingly useful. I wonder if there's a way you can glitch it in there. I'll have to look into that later. Anyway, yeah, I got stuck on this boss for a long time and I had to ask a friend who, uh, like an older friend, who already had beaten it, how to do it. I can do it now, but then I... See, have you noticed how similar this is to the uh, Yellow Devil from Mega Man 1? And lots of other Mega Man games, because it really is remarkably similar. you got to pick up this and chuck it in his face. Now, to that point, I didn't know you could even lift stuff, I don't think, so I had a lot of trouble with that. I thought you had to bottom bounce everything. But you don't. This, this is a great game. Gotta be honest with you, once you know what you're doing here, this boss is a tiny bit tedious. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing here. I mean, you can kind of lure those falling bricks so they fall where you want them, but... You know, who cares? He's got like one more hit and I've got three, so I'll be okay. Do 
They're actually a bit more unpredictable than I remember, so I'm wondering if this is a revision or something. That's something I'm going to look into, like a revision of the game, because I can swear they don't behave that way. Either that or I've just forgotten, which is probably more likely. It would be cool if those hurt you, but they don't. Anyway, he's dead. That also polishes off the first three levels, and uh, the first warp room, so it's so cool. And as you'll now see, we ladder appears. Up we go. And here we have the next two levels. On the left we have the library, and on the right we have the uh, clock tower, a la Castlevania. And obviously I'm going to start with the library, so I'll see you next time for that. Thanks for watching.